I use my bike as my mode of transportation to go explore and find new things and see how fast I can make it back down. My name is Stan Jorgensen. I'm from Sacramento, California, and I'm 26 years old. You know, at first it was just kind of a thing to do with your buddies and, you know, kind of see who is actually faster down the hill when you're racing the clock. And now it's turned into my passion and kind of what I love to do. I always race way better when I just tell myself to have fun and just, you know, pedal where you can and keep it smooth. I tore my ACL last season. Pretty crazy going from not being able to walk on your leg to being here, you know, four or five months later racing your bike. I think I really like the, the course layout. I think it's really cool that the first day is somewhere different over across the street in the backcountry and, uh, and the second day is on the resort. This is my first time racing an enduro here at Angel Fire. They held a World Cup downhill race here back in 2005, so I think it definitely has some history to it in terms of racing. I'll stop and kind of look at some sections like this because this definitely has some high speed to it. Just make sure you're going smooth through the, through the more technical sections because, uh, you know, one mistake can, uh, can ruin your weekend pretty quick. I think the weather is definitely one unique thing of Angel Fire here. You know, you wake up in the morning and it's blue skies and sunny and uh, come about noon, one o'clock, the storms roll in and uh, you don't really want to be outside anymore. Racing the lightning, yeah, it's coming in quick. jump into the woods and uh, next thing you know I couldn't really see so I tried to slow down and uh, lost the front tire. Things change pretty quick once it gets wet. It goes from uh, hero dirt to slippery mud really fast. Woke up this morning at about 6 a.m. after falling asleep about 4. Didn't really know what was going on so yeah Garth kind of saved the day and uh, gave me some food, so <laughs> I think without that, I would have been uh, kind of up the creek a little bit. I think we were done at about 9.20 this morning. We, uh, we knocked it out pretty fast in the second days on the resort. You know, it's important just to kind of chill after, you know, a day like that. And, reset everything a little bit so yeah I grabbed the fly rod and went out and did a little bit of fishing. Day two today really didn't go as planned. Stage two, I uh, off the top, I kind of cruising through a rock garden and felt like a little gremlin popped out and grabbed my rear wheel. I think after any crash like that where you hit your hel helmet and uh, hit your head on the ground, you know, it's not anything to take lightly. You know, your adrenaline hits you and you know, everything feels okay, but you know, that's not necessarily always the case. So I went down and uh, checked out with the medics and made sure that uh, I was all safe and sound. I was pretty bummed to be able to not finish the race, but it's how the cookie crumbles. Could be worse, right? <laughs> I'm thankful to be able to walk away from this and, you know, be able to ride my bike tomorrow. It's one thing to win a couple stages here and there and have some top five results, but to be able to win a race is it's a tr true talent. So many factors that go into it. And, I mean, we're racing seven stages here, so that's seven different tracks, seven different starts, seven different finishes. A lot of things that can happen over two days and seven races. Didn't have the result that I wanted to, but I had, you know, a bunch of good stage results. It kind of showed me that uh, I'm right back on pace and uh, I'm giving the, giving the boys a run for their money out there. Riding driftwood on the foreign shores Spilling